everybody, and welcome to another wonderful episode of Planet Centauri with your host, Mr. Joker. That is me. Guys, I just want to say thank you so much for all the support you guys have been showing to the channel, despite the fact that I only put this game out. Uh, I do love indie games, and I would love to continue to... I would love to come back to putting out more indie games. Unfortunately, all my time right now is devoted to my streaming platform, which is Mixer.com slash MrJoker, and I am doing a lot of AAA title stuff, so if there are some games on uh, Xbox or PlayStation 4, or even on PC that you are super excited for, that you saw at E3, just some really big games... Feel free to come on by the channel, say hi, tell me where you're from, say that, hey, I came from YouTube and your Planet Centauri series is amazing and you're amazing, or just come over and say, you know what, uh, I don't like you, and I'll say, that's cool, bro, have a hug, because there's enough negativity, we all could use a hug. So, let's move forward, shall we? Uh, this new update is 0 0.9.0, and there is a lot of things that they did, a lot of things, a lot of changes. First off... All my previous videos are going to be way different. Uh, they're not going to have much relevance outside of the version that they were on. The reason for that is that the location of a lot of things is extremely different. Uh, for instance, the Dragon Lair now has a special area that is completely redesigned. As we come over here, I'm going to show you what I mean by that. We're coming over to the desert area, which, again, not much has changed in regards to the environments themselves. Uh, to me, they seem a little bit more crisp, and, I, and I'm, I'm really uh, excited to see everybody working so hard on this game. I, I'm really, really stoked for them. But here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Look at this. This here is a, obviously a broken down temple. I did not break any of this. This is just how it came. And if you keep going, uh, there's different, like these little things here. Um, there's traps everywhere, uh, there's buttons and switches, and, you know, there's just, there's a lot of really fun uh, little things in these dungeons that you don't even are aware of. Uh, did I open that? I did. Okay. So, as you explore these dungeons, which uh, you'll find stuff like this, okay? This is the entry into that specific dungeon. And when you go in, and this is the same for everything that I'll be talking about, you'll see all these different traps and different things. Now, they highly recommend you don't be as high level as I am. And I'm going to recommend the same because it does add a lot more fun to it. I just am using my original character because I want to be able to get through these really fast to be able to put out a video for you as soon as possible because we're all impatient and we all would like to know, hey, what am I doing, where do I need to go, and what do I need to do? So, for this... For these dungeons, I highly recommend do not have the Icarus Necklace, which allows you to jump. The rest, sure, but the Icarus Necklace is not your friend on these maps. Also, you want to make sure to have all of these unlocked. All of them. Set them up properly so that you can have everything that you need. Uh, you know, have your, your all your stuff set up so that you know, okay, this is what I need to do to do this move. Have all your hotkeys set. Because you're really going to need them in all of these. For instance, see these traps? If you look closely, and pay attention, pay really close attention to every single dungeon. They all have these tiny little holes here with, with little traps popping out. Green tip stuff is poison. I'll prove it. Boop. Now I'm poisoned. Uh, the dash is your friend on everything. There's so much in here. They put in so much work. It is amazing. Also... You'll see that I just turned the lights out, which totally could have been avoided on this particular one. And now I have to kill everything to be able to move forward. And you'll hear that click. See this but See this right here? You can see how there's a line? It's a little hard to see. Let's see if I can drop uh, torches in here. There we go. See this right here? This is a trap. Stepping on it triggers that event. So you got to be careful of that. You could have avoided it and not had to fight at all. But, like I said before... Having the Icarus jump is not helpful in here. It would be, it's way, you have way more control when you don't have to be so careful. There's a lot of dungeons like this where they all have massive, uh, massive villains, massive mobs like that. So keep in mind in that there's, there's all these traps with, with spikes and walls. Like this is the easiest one. This one in particular, here's the other thing. See, this is what I'm talking about. The jumping. 
if I'm not using the Icarus, I could jump over that no problem. Right? But if I have it, I'm going to jump right into spikes. These things. Keep an eye out for these things. These are buttons. You need to click them. And they open up another section. It opened up this section. So now I got to go around. It's just an amazing dungeon crawler experience on a side scroller platform. I really, really love what they're doing here. Now, you're probably wondering, what else did they change? All right, cool. They put in a bunch of dungeons and maps and like tricky traps and stuff like that. Yes, they did. However, they also added, for your enjoyment, uh, let's go over to my old world so I can go a little bit more into detail about what you're exactly gathering and why. Here we are in my old world, and the reason we're here is so that I can show you a couple things. Now, I originally had a gold... This is still a gold... <laughs> this is still a gold anvil. However, your gold anvil now, to be able to get that, requires certain specifications here. Ooh, I showed you something a little too soon. This. You are, you are going to need a bronze hammer to get the bronze anvil. The bronze anvil then requires... Or the next level up... The iron anvil will require an iron hammer, and iron bars, and a bronze anvil. And it continues all the way up until you have a silver anvil, gold bar, gold hammer, and then you can make the golden anvil. What does the golden anvil allow you to do? I'm glad you asked. It allows you to build everything that you need to build to be, uh, move forward. It's all the higher equipment. Now, of course, the lower stuff allows you to build the lower tier stuff, but you will need the golden anvil to continue to build dragon scale armor, which, in my opinion, is still the very best that you can get until now. I don't know what it does yet. I'm going to be still working on it, and I'm hoping to put out another video for you after this one. Not immediately, but shortly. Uh, the, next the next piece of armor that you need to work on is this. This guy here. This is the shadow armor that is looks incredible and I can give you a quick taste of that by going here and showing you something one of the many drops if I can find it there's so much stuff here the shadow heart you're gonna need a shadow heart come on there we go shadow heart this is the shadow armor it looks incredible and I'm really excited to try it out now I'm not sure what this is gonna do I don't know I'm guessing this is something that I get to turn into and fight with, which sounds amazing. Uh, you, but there are certain pieces you have to collect. And it is used on the advanced crafting bench. You're going to need the shadow armor helmet, shadow armor chest, some boots with, or greaves, uh, the gloves, and the sword. Obviously, this is the last one piece I need, and once I get it, I can put it all together. Now, you're probably wondering, where do I get all these amazing things? These. A stone crystal, ice crystal, leaf crystal, shadow crystal, and the shadow and another shadow crystal. And I think that might be a bat th that might be mismatched on their names. Because this one actually should be, I think, fire crystal. Because it takes you... We'll go over that in a second. Let's go back over into our test world, shall we? We're back in our, in our test world. And it's still raining, of course, because the game likes to do that to me. To get some of these, now first off, the stone crystal. The stone crystal can be found in any of the regular chests that you find strewn about in any of the top level worlds here. Same with the ice crystal and the leaf crystal. All three of these. Now, I've, just by looking at it, you can see that the stone crystal is a little bit more popular in a lot of areas. Just by opening different chests that you find along, along the ground here, like these ones. Now, I've emptied them all out. Because I'm greedy and I want everything. But if you open up a new world, you'll find them pretty quickly. Same with... Uh, the, now, the ice crystal is a little bit more difficult. But if you head over into the ice area, the ice biome, you'll definitely find them there. And if you head over into the forest area, you'll definitely find more leaf crystals there. But I have been able to find all three of these in all different sides. As for the shadow and fire crystals, the shadow crystal I first found digging straight down into the ground as far down as I could go. And as soon as I found a silver chest down probably about halfway, just before the the creeps, the, the red, uh, scary looking little alien creep things showed up, uh, that's when I found the stone crystals. All the way on the bottom in the fire area which I'm not sure I can get to this way 
It might be. I know I made a hole here somewhere. But all the way down in the fire area, there are sp specific chests that require, and I know you've seen them. There we go. Nope, not there yet. Jeez. How far did I go? <laughs> did I not even do it? I thought I built a giant hole. Oh, there it is. I knew I built a hole somewhere. Okay, so down here, the these chests will not have your fire crystals. Okay? But or your shadow crystals for that matter. It's these chests. Let's see. I have um these ones. The fire chests. Fire chests require fire orbs. That's what's gonna open your your crystal your fire ugh, your fire chests to be able to get these crystals. What these do exactly bring you to special areas of battle. And I'm gonna show you a clip here in a second that show you some of the battling that I've had to do against what the bosses look like. Each dungeon, and we'll go ahead and warp to the stone one. Each dungeon, just like I showed you at the temple, brings you to here. The crystal will bring you here, and then you take these doors. Now these skulls here indicate how difficult it is. This is a level two. The desert one was a level one. The higher up you go here, the harder they are. I and when you get through the first part of a dungeon, which this can take about 15 to 20 minutes, because you get locked into a room, you have to kill all the mobs in that room before you move forward. And these guys are a pain in the butt, so there's no going, getting past this any, any faster than what I've done already. Okay, but once you get past everything, you get to a, to the final boss room, and I'll show you that clip right now. Now, as you can see here, I'm fighting a sword, uh, just a giant sword, and they come in all shapes and sizes. Let me show you a couple others that I have here. And as you fight them, they're, they're not super difficult, but they're, they're just a little challenging and, and can be a little obnoxious. Once you defeat them, you can then open up a chest that will have the materials you'll need, which would include, but not limited to, the different pieces of armor. But you can only get them in the, after beating a sword battle. The sword battles then are critical to be able to put, that, put together the shadow armor. Once you collect all the armor, then you go over to your advanced table. And you put it together, and you get this thing. And then I imagine you go over to the transformation table. And at this point, you should have uh, all your armor pieces, including... Where is it? This uh, shadow heart. I'm very ex excited to see what this does and what it can do for me and how it can help. And I won't know until the next episode. But if you are able to get it done, let me know down in the comments below how awesome it is. Don't tell me anything else. I'm still going to do it. And I'm still going to put a video out. But I am very excited to test it out and see what it's all about and all that stuff. Uh, also, keep in mind that a lot of the, the chests that you find in some of these dungeons have some bonus materials. And there's some bonus challenges on top of it. Where you have to have, you know, 20 seconds to get through one dungeon without getting hit. Uh, or 20 seconds to get one th through one second. Ugh. 20, s <laughs> 20 seconds to get through one section of this dungeon without hitting any spikes. And the rewards are actually not too bad. You get some really cool different materials. For instance, I've gathered, where are they? Look at some of the uh, purple stuff here. I've got, they don't have specific names yet, but I'm sure they're going to fix that. But I get, I've gotten a lot of the purple uh, column stuff, the left and right side of stuff. Uh, a lot of the stone stuff, some of this stuff. And there's also uh, some foliage, fo foliage, fo foliage, foliage. There we go. I got it. I'll get there. Uh, some red foliage, just a bunch of really cool stuff that you, you can use to build. And it seems like this is the only way you'll be able to get those materials is going through those dungeons and defeating those little challenges. I hope this uh, has been super informative. I tried to make it brief and kind of get, get to the point. But really keep in mind that this is some of the er, some of these dungeons are early game stuff and some of them are definitely late game stuff. The red crystal, keep in mind that the red crystal brings you to the dragon. The leaf crystal will bring you to the leaf fairy, fairy uh, F-E-A-R-Y. I'm not sure how you'd say that. But it brings you to that boss. The red one brings you to the dragon boss. If you go past the Leaf Fairy portal, 
you can then find the sword for that. The red crystal does not have... The, 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 this red one does not have anything past the dragon. So the dragon is the only way you can use this to get to the dragon dungeon. Which is really nice and very helpful. This one, however, this is one that you're going to... This is where I got the shadow uh, heart from. Is from the shadow crystal. Best of luck. Uh, and let me know how long it takes you to get through all of it. No hacks, guys. No cheats. Alright, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys next time. Stay groovy. I'm out!